Nicole here with Job Hunt Solutions and in today's video we're going to talk about the three biggest mistakes that candidates make in interviews and what you should do to avoid them. The first mistake is dishonesty. Now this runs the spectrum right from just saying what you think the interviewer wants to hear through to full out lying. So, on the one hand, if you're saying what you think the interviewer wants to hear, it can come across as being fake or phony. In addition, you could be leaving out some really pertinent information that is relevant to your background and skills that could probably put you in a better light than had you said what you think the interviewer wants to hear. In all reality, the interviewer just wants to hear the truth. On the other end of the spectrum, if you full out lie about a skill set, you could be found out about it, but let's just say, for instance, you happen to be the best liar out there. Okay, it's not something I would put on my resume. However, if you get hired based on something that you've said or claimed to have in your interview, and then it comes out that you are actually lying about it, you are not only running the risk of having your employment terminated as a result, but you could be put in a very awkward situation. So as an example, let's say in your interview you say that you have excellent Excel skills. You are an advanced Excel user. And you're thinking that this role would never require advanced Excel skills. Now you're hired and a couple of weeks in, your boss asks you to pull together some data for a presentation that he or she needs to make and she says can you have this information to me in an hour and of course you say okay sure how bad can it be well they send you a massive data set actually two massive data sets which would require you to use things like VLOOKUP pivot tables and charts they also ask you to come up with you know, some comparisons, maybe year-over-year -year comparisons, and also include any other insights that you might find while digging through the data. Having an hour to do this is a bit aggressive, but if you've got pretty mad Excel skills, it shouldn't be a problem. If, on the other hand, you're a novice user of Excel, this will be a massive problem and something you'll never be able to get through. So the bottom line, Honesty is always the best policy. The second mistake that people make in interviews is coming across as being arrogant. So this can look like somebody who may be overly relaxed in the interview, um, appearing as though they've already got this job in the bag, or being too casual with the interviewers, either in their dress or just in the way that they approach the interview itself. This can be especially true for people who may have been referred by a hiring manager or who are internal to the organization and see this as merely a hoop that they have to go through. It's great to be confident in your interview. That comes across really well. But there is a fine line between confidence and arrogance. Sometimes people will come into an interview overcompensating for their nervousness and it can come across as arrogance. So the best thing to do to avoid that is practice. Just practice with friends, family members, or somebody that you trust who can help you through your nervousness and get you better prepared for the interview. The third biggest mistake that people make in interviews is not being prepared for the interview. So this includes everything from doing proper company research right through to actually being practiced and prepared for a lot of the common questions that um, interviewers will ask. Now you can click right up here and you will see a previous video that I did on how to prepare for an interview. But the bottom line is the interviewers really want to see that you are interested in the organization and you're well thought out in your reasons for really being interested in the company, industry, or job. So when getting ready for your interview, really make sure that you are practiced, prepared, and that you're honest and authentic in the interview. This is your chance to really present the best version of yourself. So avoiding these mistakes will help you do just that. 
I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or any ideas for videos that you would like for me to do in the future, please do leave me a comment in the comment section below. You can also, of course, reach out to me on email, Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn, whatever works best for you. And if you need some help polishing up your interview skills, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy hunting!